Hello. Hello everyone. We're here. We're streaming. We're about to play uh we're about to play some uh Pokemon Heart Gold. We're going to check it out. It's uh it's been so long. It's been so long since I've played these games. And you know, I feel like when I'm when I'm out on the internet, people are always telling me that these are top tier Pokemon games. Some of the best, people say. You know, up there with uh I feel like Black 2 and White 2 are in the rotation right now. People, you know, that, those are the ones that everybody really likes. But, you know, I was streaming a little bit on Twitch last night. People were like, uh, it was divisive, Heart of Gold, Soul Silver. Some people were telling me, yeah, yeah, no, they're just as good as people say. Some people were like, I don't know, Jake. Uh, maybe. So I want to I know for myself. I want to pick up that conversation. How's everybody doing? Oh, my God. Look at this chat. We got Mocha Asian in the chat. We got Bison Howard. Bison, you were, you were there last night. I remember. Nice to see you again. Uh. King of the Hills 34, Lewis Pugh, oh my god, Hayes Maze, hello, hello everybody, hello, hello, how's everybody doing? Um, man, so much fun stuff going on right now, you know? I feel like we are, everybody's kind of anticipating a Nintendo Direct this week, right? Which is funny, because I, I kind of would have thought if it was this week, it would have been announced by now, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. I kind of don't think it's this week, but maybe I'm stupid, you know? Maybe you just drop it. Maybe it's a, you know, because the thing about drop the Twitch link, uh, I think it's just twitch.tv slash Jake knows it. Let me just, let me throw that here. 
Let me just put that in the chat. Twitch.tv slash... I think that'll do it. I think you can... I think you can just get there. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm bad at this. Remember, the thing about hanging out with me is that I'm bad at content. All right? I'm just a man. Okay, so... <laughs> um, no Nintendo Direct, it looks like, according to our Great Red Bird. Wait, Hayes, are you saying that Pioro is saying that we're... That the Nintendo Direct is a no-no? Is that what you're saying? Did Pioro speak? I've got to see this for myself. I must know. Um, wow. Let's see. Okay, I've got Pioro's Twitter account up here. Oh, my God. But yeah, you're right. Pioro said, in response to somebody tweeting at them, are we going to have a partner showcase this week? Pioro said, I'm not aware of any imminent first-party announcements at the moment. I'm not aware of any imminent first-party announcements at the moment. That's a little vague. That's a little vague. I'm going to be honest. That's a little vague. But we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Because I, I got to be honest. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I don't think Nintendo is going to do a Valentine's Day Nintendo Direct. They've probably done one on Valentine's Day in the past. But I just, I don't know. That, to, to me, that seems a little weird. So the question is, are they going to announce it tomorrow? do it on Thursday, that kind of makes sense. We've got that Xbox business update happening on Thursday. Probably makes sense that they would, they have some game announcement in the Nintendo Direct that ties into that. Probably set it for after the Nintendo Direct. Nintendo Direct before the Xbox whatever thing happening. It's probably happening in the afternoon for that reason. So there you go. Doesn't rule out a partner direct. Yeah, exactly, dude. Exactly, Lewis. That's the thing, though. It's that. My stance at the moment, my stance, is that uh, I cannot get hyped for a Nintendo Direct right now because it will be bad. It will be bad. A Nintendo Direct will not be good. You, you know what I mean? It's just not the right time for a good Nintendo Direct. It, nothing interests me less than end-of-generation third-party games on a Nintendo console. Nothing interests me less. Could not, you know. Uh, but hey, if you, get, if you want an update on Mario versus Donkey Kong, Mario, uh, Paper Mario, and Princess Peach, go for it, baby. But uh, yeah, this Direct isn't, isn't for me. The next one, you know, the next presentation where we talk about Switch 2, that's going to be a banger. That's going to be the greatest time of our lives. But not now. So, so honestly, between Nintendo Direct and Pokemon Presents, I feel like Pokemon Presents has much more potential for something interesting and fun happening. You know what I mean, everybody? You know what I mean? Yeah. Business Update is a great way to get your podcast in the top of the charts. Yeah, it's so funny that they made that thing a podcast, right? It's so weird. It's like, all right, everybody, use code no more exclusive games for 20% off me undies. You know. Uh, so we'll see. But yeah, I just feel like, what do we. Everybody's got this Nintendo Direct anticipation, but what are you getting hyped about? What are you getting hyped about, guys? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. Should we begin? Pokemon Heart Gold. Should we begin? I think so. I think it's time. Um, yeah, let's turn things over. Let's see. Do do do. All right. We're in here, chat. We're in here. Just got to uh, make sure everything's working. All right. Uh. Oh wait, wait. We got more people in the people in the chat are trying to give me information. Wait, is that Adam, dude? Is Adam in the chat? Adam, dude, just come on the stream. Just come talk to me. If you're trying to talk, just get in Discord and talk to me. Uh, let's see. All right. <laughs> this kind of updates are the best done in tweets. Nate the Hay also seemed to think it's a partner direct. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, let's begin. The podcast is pushing more of the weird parasocial relationship that the Xbox execs want. Yeah, I 100% agree with that, Adam. I a hundo p agree with that. I feel like the uh, it's so coded. It's so coded as like you guys are so important. You know what I mean? You guys are so important to us at Xbox that we have to talk directly to you via a pod. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a whole thing. All right, chat. I don't need any of this info. How's this, uh, how's this looking to everybody? Does this look normal? Does this look like we're playing a video game on a stream? Adzy Gaming, Adam, of course, in the chat. Adam from Ireland. Give that little name a, give that name a little, a click and a subscribe. One of the best in the game, sweet Adam. Love Adam's content. Doing some great reviews this year. Uh, for really, for realsies. All right. All right, it's looking good. Little Turtle says it's looking good. All right, let's let's dive in. Let's get let's 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 absorb what we're doing right now. We're here for Pokemon Heart Gold. We're here to embrace the beginning of this Pokemon game. Feel what it's all about. Let's what are what is this what is Pokemon Heart Gold serving to us? And are we eaten? Are we eaten? Um I wish I knew how to like make polls and stuff. I wish I knew how to do that. Oh my god, I do know how to do that. Okay, okay. Later we'll be later we'll do some polls and stuff. Um we'll do that we'll definitely do some polls and stuff. Oh no, no, first off, Adam says, can we all agree that Soul Silver is the best version? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I like Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh Ho is a cool, cool golden bird. Soul Silver's like Soul Silver's like you're seven and you're trying to be you're trying to be cool. You're like, oh colors aren't cool. I'm silver, dude. You know, no. Absolutely not. All right. Let's let's get in. Huh? What? Is it already that late? Oh no! I overslept. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. It's kind of funny. No, we don't. Like, we all know who Professor Oak is. You know what I mean? We call him Professor Oak. All right. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Meryl, nice. Does this lend credence to Meryl being a star? Being a potential let's go, you know, companion, maybe. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times, we play together. And at other times, we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? All right, chat. Wait, wait. Hold on. Our first, our first choice. Our first choice. Did I do that right? Dear God, I hope so. Okay. Our first choice. Tabulating. Tabulating the results. Oh my god. Okay. Listen. Let's 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 uh let's dike let's look at these fits. Alright. So we're looking at our guys wearing joggers that are like way too small for him. You know what I mean? I don't mind showing a little bit of ankle, but dog is showing entire calf. Um, I do like the backwards hat, the backwards hat with the gold stripe down the middle. Kind of feels like this is gold and this is silver based on the, wow, I've, I've never had that thought before. But you know what I mean? Kind of feels like this one is more aligned with gold. 
you know, since because of that yellow line on the hat. I like the quarter zip. I think that's what that is. I like the bag, the strap bag, the jacket, the whole thing. Looks pretty good. Uh, and then we've got these kind of like short overalls look. I think that's what we're going for. Kind of nice. Love the big hat. Love the ponytails. I I, I think that's a well-constructed fit. Good bag. Whole, whole nine. Very, very good look here. Let's see what we got. Uh, make it 50-50. Chad, how dare you? How dare you, Chad? Lewis, you like the interface here. Thank you. Thank you. This It took me way too long to throw this together. Okay, I need the scales to be tipped. We need the scales to be tipped. Whichever one gets the next vote will be the one we go with, or I'm just going to pick one. All right? Let me see this. Guys, come on. Is this... Is this... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can I get one more vote in here, chat? Come on. Give me one more vote, chat. Give me one more vote. Or else we're going to be stuck staring at Professor Oak this whole dang time. You know what I'm saying, chat? Come on. Pull it together. Okay, boy. Boy wins. Boy takes the poll. Boy wins. Thank you. Thank you, chatter. Thank you, chatter, who revealed themselves and put in the final vote. Please tell me your name. Uh, chat, should we just go with Jake? Am I just am I just Jake? Should it just be me? Or do we have a do we have a better name in mind? Is there is there something would a chatter like to submit an alternative? Or do we just want Jake? You know what I mean? For for ease of readability, if you will. Let's see. Let's see what chat thinks. Waiting on chat. Lewis says chaos loses, dude. Don't get, don't bring that chaos in here. Don't bring that chaos into my stream. That was chaos was the last episode of Catch My Drift every Thursday, at whatever time I decide to post it. All right, I'm not, I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any, any dissent. So I think we're just gonna go with Jake. Adam, Adam says we should name name. Uh, okay, yeah, all right. Jake is a classic. All right, listen, here's what we'll do. I think I think Adam will be our rival. Okay, I think Adam will be our rival. Chat. Oh my God, Chat is such a funny name. Maybe Chat will be our rival, dude. I think Chat will be the rival. That is so funny. Oh my God. Okay. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. This is what, this is what this is what streaming with me is, is by the way. When I'm off the leash, we are going to get through 0% of this game. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. So first off, full TV. There's a TV here. All right, thank you. It's a Wii. Wii is huge in Johto too. Cool. Is, is that implying like a Wii is like huge in real life? Drop drop the best Wii game. Drop your favorite Wii game in the chat immediately. Favorite Wii game. I need to know. Let's go to the computer. The PC. Check the mailbox. I got anything? Ooh, Lyra, dude. Lyra. Some kind of... Uh... Man, what is the situation ship here? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm reading Lyra's mail, baby. Adventure! Excited! I love Pokemon. Lyra didn't even give us like a, like an item. So, all right, then we got bed. Who doesn't love bed? Oh, look at him cozy in there, dude. Dude, th this is something you could do in these old games that you can't do now. Dog can just walk into bed, face the camera, and he's in bed, baby. That's how you do it. That is how you do it in these video games. All right, let's head down. Oh, wait, wait, let me see these favorite Wii games. Bungle Roo, Punch-Out. Andrew the Nintendo Dude, Twilight Princess, 
We play motion, says Hayes. Not sure if kidding. Bison, We Sports Resort. Boring answer. Galaxy 2 from King of the Hills. Allie also loves We Sports Resort. Megalink says Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Adds, Adam says Red Steel 2. These are good picks. I gotta say, I'm impressed with I'm impressed with chat right here. I'm impressed with chat. Punch Out is underrated. People, people, I don't see people mention Punch Out a lot, and I love Punch Out, dude. Twilight Princess, I need to play again. I need those games to come out again so that I can give them a fair shot. I don't, I don't remember them. I I've no I, I need to play those again. Galaxy 2, probably the best 3D Mario game. I don't know if, if that's your thing. I think I like Odyssey more personally. Wii Sports Resort, amazing game. Red Seal 2, I don't know what that's about. Adam's such a weirdo, dude. Those Irish people. God, who knows what they're doing. All right. Hi, Jake. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. Mom, I know where it is. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. Bag? This is your trainer card. Jake. Here you can save a record of your progress. Save. There are also rather, these are also rather helpful. Wow, no in-universe name for options. All right, just try touching the buttons. Okay, and you'll know what to do in no time. Very good, very good stuff. All right. Oh, guys, you wanna, you wanna blast from the past? Um, look at how long it takes to save this game. You remember this? Remember how long it took to save in, uh, Wait, what? <gasps> Chat. No. I didn't delete my old save file. So we can't save. Well, luckily we've gotten nowhere deep into this game. Wait, so we have to go to the menu and press up, select, and B? Chat, this is brutal. How do I get out of here? Okay, hold on. Hold on, chat. Brief pause. Brief, brief pause while we uh, <laughs> while we uh, address this. <laughs> what did it say? Up select B. Is that what it said? Up select B. Up select B. I got it. I got it. It's it's making sure I really take my time here. It doesn't want me to accidentally delete my save. Yeah, that's that's the real blast from the past, everybody. Do you guys remember? I wonder if this will come up in the game at all. Do you guys remember? Um, this game came out with like the Pokey Walker, right? That little pedometer thing that you had. Man, at the time, I thought that was so cool. There was like there was there was like nothing as cool as the Pokey Walker. It it, it really seemed like technology was it, 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 see, it seemed like the technology was made for Pokemon you know what I mean it seemed like like it couldn't get any better than that and it's almost weird to me that the Pokemon games never had that functionality built into like the actual system that they were on you know what I mean like we couldn't figure that out we couldn't like have a pedometer on the switch that worked with the Pokemon games in that way. You know, now we just connect things to Pokemon Go and we think that that's good enough. Still cool, though. Still a cool little device. Here's what, I, here's what I'm looking at, chat, by the way. Here's what I'm looking at on my DS right now. Oh, no, we're, it, it, we're good. We're good. We've made, the, we've made the switch. All right. Wait, Hayes, you still got one? You still got the whatever that device was called? It was called the Pokey Walker, right? I didn't just make that up. All right, chat. We're gonna we're gonna blow through this this time, okay? We're gonna blow through it. Yeah, it's already late. All right. Wow. Don't worry, don't worry, chat. We're going to redo the boy girl poll for an hour, and then we'll get to the bottom of this, okay? <laughs> um. Yeah, you're right. The 3DS did have a pedometer 
built in. Why didn't they do something like that? Very weird, very weird. Because they didn't, right? Am I just imagining that? There was, there was nothing like that on 3DS. Very odd. Very odd. Dude, I would love to have a, po a, a Poke Walker right now. That would be so hype. I feel like they kind of redo that, um, that functionality with... What's it called? Those those like little Pokeball things that you can connect to Pokemon Go. Like that's kind of the same thing, right? I think so. Yeah, Pokewalker. I still have mine too. Pretty neat device at the time. Yeah. Pedometer laid the groundwork on DS and they never really expanded the tech. All right. Dude, we're not even going to open Li Lyra's letter. All right. In this, in this branched timeline, we ignore Lyra's advances. Okay. We've, this is, first universe was the, that, that, what, what we just experienced. This is a branched timeline now, okay? Things are slightly different. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Bungle that, that Pokeball thing for those Let's Go games and Pokemon Go, it's like, it's like in there. It's like a similar, similar deal, I think, yeah. All right, let's get the, let's get the, the goods from Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, mom. Is it always mom, chat? Is it always mom? Is it ever dad? Has it has it ever been dad once, chat? Let me know. All right, let's 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 do our save. Make sure it works. Yes. Oh, here we go, baby. Saving a lot of data. Here we go. Has it ever been dad, chat? Ever dad instead of mom? I wonder what's up with that. Give me dad. Hmm. The Tiz says, always mom, never dad. Interesting. All right. I don't know what that's about. All right. Chad, here's my first question for you. Oh, wait, hold on. Our secret admirer. Dude, Meryl's kind of sweet, actually. You know what I mean? Meryl's kind of like a good guy. Meryl's shining in that moment. Wow, they just walked away. She didn't even talk to us. I knew I didn't like Lyra, dude. I knew I didn't like her. That was so weird. What do we think of this look, chat? What do we think of the way this game looks? Do we think this is a good-looking video game? What do you think? Tell me. You got pixel art, you have some 3D stuff. It's kind of weird, it's kind of a mix. Do we like the vibe though? Is the is the sound loud enough? Can you guys hear it? Should I turn the game sound up or or anything? Like let me let me know in the chat. Ali Singali says, I actually heard the reason JRPGs have the absent dad is because in Japan, the dad is at work so much that he becomes distant from the family. I could see that. It's kind of like a thing. Very, very gender role, you know? Very gender role. I wonder if we get away from that in the future, you know? Dad was alive in the last timeline, but now he died when you didn't open the letter. Jesus, Tiz. Jesus, dog. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, people say it looks, it looks, okay, it looks good, sounds good. I'd say it aged pretty well. Okay. Yeah, it's funny, black and white, you open those black and white games up, and they're really impressive for the DS. They're, to this day, really impressive. We're walking so slow. I know we get our running shoes very soon, but we're so slow, dude. Yo, Jake. I hear the Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. That's it. Lyra's house. Nice. Yeah, this is cool. I, I, there's a degree to which I missed this. This kind of town in Pokemon games, you know what I mean? Oh my god, is that chat? So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Okay. Let's go see. Uh, 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 huh, me? Uh, I'm not the professor. He's at the back of the room. Professor Elm sound like. Hi, Jake. I've been waiting for you. 
Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great, because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm gonna give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. The Tiz says Elm sounds like anxious, Jake. See, I kind of imagine Elm as the, the the cool, like more laid back professor. You know what I mean? Professor Oak is out here being like, oh golly, I'm Professor Oak. But, but like, Professor Elm's just like, eh. You know, I got promoted from the top. I made it. I thought I was just gonna be an intern here. Now I'm the professor. Giving kids Pokemon, I guess. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. All right, which one? Okay, chat. You know what we have to do, chat. It's time. It's time. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Chikorita, the grass-type Pokemon, is in this Pokeball. Cyndaquil, the fire-type Pokemon, is in this Pokeball. Totodile, the water-type Pokemon, is in this Pokeball. These are pretty good, chap. These are all pretty good. So, as a youth, as a youth, I was a Chikorita man. I was a youth, as a, as, I was a Chikorita man, as a youth. Um, always loved Totodile. Was never, was never really a Cyndaquil appreciator, I will say. But I will, of course, be going with, uh, whatever the chat decides. Whatever the chat decides. They're all good, though. These are, these are three good ones, you know what I mean? Cyndaquil just got some attention with, um, of course, getting that new final evolution in Legends Arceus. Pretty cool. Hisuian, uh, Cyndaquil, you know what I mean? Um, all right, I think this is it. I think it's been decided. We got our we got our, our votes in chat. Thank you very much for voting, everybody. Dude, this is such a good time. This is such a good time. Love love hanging out. This little small, little cozy stream playing Pokemon. All right, let's get it done. Chat has decided. We're going Totodile, baby. Uh, Totodile nicknames. Cue them up. Get them ready. Get them ready. Jake received Totodile from Professor Elm. Nice. The canonical starter is Totodile, dude. Canon starter. We gotta give him a nickname. We gotta give him a nickname, chat. We gotta do it. While we think of nicknames, let's see what we got. Uh, Jake Prosser in the chat. Fellow Jake. What up? Hey, congrats on doing your own thing, man. Keep grinding. Love your video game coverage. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, it's fun. Um, happy to be here. Ha just having a good time. It's it's fun to do this, do these things. It's fun to do these things for fun. It's you know what I mean. No pressure. No pressure. Not trying to be like big YouTube boy over here. Um, last week I was so busy, guys. I had to, like all this like contract work that was just keeping me. I was I was like working all through last week. This was the first week where I actually like I got a little bit of a break. So I'm like, oh man, I got some time. I want I want to hang out, and chat. Appreciate the comment, Jake. Appreciate the comment. Okay, Andrew the Nintendo Dude says Toto Roki. Bungaroo says Binya Binya. Okay. 
I think we need to decide who Totodile is, right? I think we need to decide what kind of personality this Totodile has. Like, who who is this? Is like, do we think do we think that Totodile is like a like a Gary, a Felix, a Johansson? I don't know. Chriselle, Chris, Chrisley, Binya, 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 Binya is kind of funny. I need, man, I need an Gula Gula Island stand. Okay, oh, this is like a thing. It's a, it's a reference. Africa by Toto. I kind of like Toto. I kind of like just keeping it smooth with Toto. Chikorita. Oh my God. What, what, what is a, what can we name this Totodile? This, no, remember, this is gonna be our companion through probably the whole game. So I feel like we need to, um, it needs to be a name deserving of a champion. Archie, dude. Archie the Totodile? Tiz. Tiz, that's nice. Dude, Tiz, I think that's, dude, I kind of like it. Dude, Archie the Totodile? Archie, dude, go. Archie. Fish Key is, listen. See, now chat's coming through with some good names. Toto. What about just Big Toe? <laughs> what about Big Toe? Do we like Big Toe? I kind of like Big Toe. I think I got to do it, chat. I'm sorry. I think I have to do it. I think I have to do Big Toe. I think I gotta do big toe. <laughs> I'm going big toe. <laughs> dude, yes. It's Jake and his big toe, dude. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Jake. All right, let's roll. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jake, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Obtained the potions. Jake put the potions in the medicine pocket. Po Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. Sweet. That's what we would call, in the modern days, hand-holding. But back then, we just appreciated it. We, we just said, thank you. Big toe, dude. Biggest toe, eventually. Okay, yeah, I think this is good. I think we like big toe. Now... Forest in the chat makes a great point that we walk with this Pokemon behind us the whole time. We're walking with our big toe. It's awesome. Jake, so you picked a uh, Totodile. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around. Talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? <laughs> See ya. Hey. Glout Fisher, dude. We need a Pokemon region based on Philly, dude. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Is this my house? Yeah. Let's go show mom my new my new big toe. The rival is gritty. Stop it, chat. We've already decided the rival is chat. That's a <laughs> Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your poke gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Jake received the poke gear. Mom, what do you think of my big toe? The Pokemon Gear, or Poke Gear, as it's often called. What, what, do you work for them, Mom? You work for Big Poke? 
is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Poke Gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? I'm, I'm about to lie to mom. Yeah, yeah. Just just power on the Poke Gear and touch the telephone button. Dude, she told me anyway. She knew. She knew I was lying. She knew. The names of the people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one to give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Me neither, dog. Me neither. All right, bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. All right, let's go. Let's roll, chat. We're on our mission now, baby. Get out of my way. You're staying in this lame town, lady. Not me. I'm too big for this town. I'm never coming back. And you're going to be stuck here for your whole life. No one's going to remember you. Nobody even knows your name. Not me. I'm going to be the champion. Me and my big toe. We're going off to bigger and better things. <laughs> Wait one second! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. <laughs> Jake registered Professor Elm in the Poke Gear. <laughs> okay, I thought he was about to run out and be like, what did you say to that woman, dude? Call you if anything comes up. All right, let's go. Now we're on the move, dude. Route 29. Chat, why do you think they make Route 29 the first route that you that you come across? What's up with that? Like, why would you pick that number? Why not just make it one? I bet you there's a reason. You might want to change text speed. Oh, Tiz. Smart. Smart thinking, Tiz. Let's look at these options. Text speed, fast. Look, we gotta go set. We're not we're not babies, right? Be great. Cool. The tiz, because Kanto had 28. You know what? I the second that came out of my mouth, I was like, I wonder if that's what it was. Okay. So man, these these two regions are really like intrinsically connected. It's kind of lame that like let's go didn't like reverse that, you know what I mean? And and let you come here afterwards. I think that would have made that game um really stand out to a lot of people in a different way you know it's still simplified but two gens in one that would be really that'd be a whole thing yeah yeah you really get sequel vibes from this right chap you really get like like professor oak at the start really like sequel vibes 100 100 percent all right big toe first battle uh we well, hit him with the leer obviously give him that big eye the big eye from big toe big stink eye Sentry. Sentry out. Stop it. <laughs> Sentry uh, scratched my big toe. All right, let's go. Big toe. Nice, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, big toe is gonna, gonna roll this game. Chad, as we play through this, should I have like any restrictions on my team? Should we have any like special rules or something? Like I didn't really think about any of that stuff. I just kind of thought we would we would just play like like normals, you know? Dude, Big Toe looks awesome. Look at that guy. Will Dino following you around? Big Toe is opening and closing its mouth. I think it's breathing, but okay. I actually think we want to go left, not up. My brain wanted me to go up, but I actually think the, the town we're going to is... To, nope, my brain was should have listened to the old brain, baby. <laughs> oh man. Chat, what's it how does it feel to go back to Pokemon in the grass like this? Just like walking in the grass not knowing when things are gonna pop up. Do people miss this? Do people miss it? Or do you could you just like not go back because i will say when the change happened you know what i mean like when we decided we were gonna do just like pokemon in the overworld i think i ultimately like that more 
But now that I'm a few years removed from that decision, there there is something I think charming and interesting about the random battles. You know, I don't I don't think that they are just objectively worse than seeing them in the overworld. You know what I mean? Johto is the Spider-Man Miles to Kanto. Then Hoenn was the actual Spider-Man to the two says. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I get them, you know. Team Rocket continuation is good sequel vibes. Ooh, Lewis, yeah, nice. Use headbutt in every town. There isn't much team variety, unfortunately, says the Tiz. Oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't realize that about these games. Is that a criticism of these games? Not much team variety? Would we want a sequel to Scarlet Violet next like this to Red Blue? That's kind of an interesting idea. Not a lot of people are thinking about that, Lewis. Not a lot of people are thinking about that. I, I could see that happening. That's interesting. Yeah, Bung Bungle doesn't like the the encounters in the... Wow, we already got Water Gun. Nice, Big Top. Uh, Bungle doesn't like those uh, random encounters. That's his. I miss the anticipation and seeing the wild Pokemon personality and charm when they first appear with their sprite work animation. Dude, Tiz, I totally get that. Totally get where you're coming from. Totodially get where you're coming from. Um, yeah, I, I think that there was something to like that moment. You know what I mean? The reveal. I see it both ways, because you, you can still get that reveal in the overworld, in a sense. Um, it's definitely different, though. It's definitely different. Yeah, Ali, I agree. There's something to the surprise. There's, some, there's something to it. That wears off, though. You know what I mean? The longer you play the game. The longer you play the game, that starts to... Yeah. You know, it's it's interesting. I think ultimately I do like the seeing them seeing the Pokemon in the overworld, but I wonder if there was a way that we could better kind of like channel the random battles uh, in specific places when we want to do that. I know I know um, Sword and Shield kind of did that a little bit, but um, I I wonder if we could make it like a little bit more interesting or like cinematic. Like there's a point in the game where you're going through like a really dangerous area. And you know it's like really dangerous and stuff's just like shooting out at you all the time and surprising you. Like that'd be really cool. It'd be a nice callback to this kind of stuff. I think I'm going the right way, but I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure, Chad. Bison, been a long time since we've had a sequel game. It could help alleviate some of the development issues that come with having to make a whole new game in such a short amount of time. Yeah, yeah, I totally get that. I think that like I think something that's still kind of like related to Scarlet and Violet is more likely than people realize. I think that a lot of people, like I, I think a new Let's Go game has zero chance of happening. Um, and I think a new Legends game, I find that to be unlikely too, just because I don't think it's been enough time since the last Legends game. Some people pointing at like a Gen 5 remake. I don't know. The the timing for everything just like seems a little seems a little off to me. So I could see them doing something in the interim here, in this kind of like gap here for um still continues along with what we've done with Scarlet and Violet for sure. I'd have to I'd have to look back at Sword and Shield and see how they did it. Yeah. I I remember thinking it was cool though with like the exclamation points. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Okay then. Follow me. Hop up. Hop. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible. So try to keeping up. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. Da -da 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 -da. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon 
and other useful items. Tut, 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 tut. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Hey, that's who I'm looking for. Whoa, showing me the ocean. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Here, yeah, it's my house. For your effort keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Doing a doing a feet joke back in an old Pokemon game. I would not have uh, I would not have guessed that, chap. I would not have guessed that. Got you, didn't I? Don't worry, these are brand new. <laughs> Jake received the running sh- mm. The instructions read, touch the sprint button on the touch screen to sprint. It also says hold the B button down to sprint. All right. Let's do it, chat. Let's uh, activate activate our run powers. Yeah, that's great. Right. Yeah, we did a feed joke in this old Pokemon game. Chat, you're surprised. I'm surprised too. I'm surprised. I thought that was weird. Big toe. Yeah, we got, I guess, all right. Sounds like a bit of a, bit of a theme here, chat. <laughs> oh, man. Get in there, big toe. Got to heal up my big toe. All right. Thank you, nurse. All right, let's see what these people in here are doing. It's great. I can store any number of Pokemon. And it's all free. Nice. Presumably talking about the PC. The communication center upstairs was just built. But they're still finishing it up. Okay. That PC is free for any trainer to use. Alright, thanks guys. People in the world of Pokemon love nothing more than Pokemon. When you're with Pokemon, going anywhere is fun. Can't argue with that. Pokemon game, gain experience in battle and change their form. It's called evolution, you dunce. I heard that each Pokemon has its own nature and has something to do with Pokemon stats. Ooh, let's look at our Pokemon. What's our nature? What's Big Toe's nature? Mild nature. Bad defense, good special attack. Seems bad, chat. It seems bad. Is that bad? It seems bad. Is is Big Toe does Big Toe have bad DNA? Does Big Toe have bad genes? Tell me. Tell me what you think. We never should have looked. We never should have looked, chat. We never should have looked. That was my that was my mistake. I don't know why I looked. Not the worst. Okay, not the worst that Tiz says. Okay. When I was a wee lad, I was a hotshot trainer. Here's some words of advice. Catch a lot of Pokemon, but you can only take six with you. If you catch more, they'll be sent to your PC. They won't run away from the PC, so there's no need to be alarmed. Remember what I'm about to tell you? Treat them all with the utmost kindness. Listen, I'm only catching stuff that I want to use. You know? We're not Gary's out here, all right? We're just... Oh, what, 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 what's up? <laughs> I made it! I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Take it. The guy gent loaded the map card on Jake's Pokegear. Jake's Pokegear can now show the town map. Select the Pokegear on the touch screen and then select the town map icon. Kind of wish they just put it on the phone instead of it in the pokey gear, but okay. Thanks, dog. Okay, wait. Let me look at this pokey gear. Let's check it out. Map. Yeah, why make you go through the extra step, you know? Alright. Cool. 
Not a bad map. Not a bad map at all. All right, let's go get uh, Mr. Pokeman. Ooh, a Pidgey. Love a Pidgey, dude. Is, is Pidgey the best of the bird Pokemon, or is there a better? Tell me, chat. I feel like people really like... What's it called? Like Talonflame? I feel like people really like that one. I feel like Pidgey's up there, though. And then, you know, obviously, like, S Spiro is on the other end of that spectrum. Just awful. Just awful. Pidge! All right, now the last Pidge, I think, was level two. This one's level four. Gotta be careful. Man, dude, I really like this Sprite for Totodile. I feel like it's a good one. An all-timer, if you will. Seems good. Potion. It's kind of nice just to get a potion out there. You know, you only have one Pokemon. You really have no other way to defend yourself. You kind of got to get into these battles unless you just start running. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know. This is this is uh, I, I kind of like the way that this game is starting so far. I feel like they're they're doing a good job of just kind of like situating you. I feel like the world is really inviting. It's kind of fun. What what's what are you about? They make you feel like you're flying, don't they? I mean, kinda, dude. Kinda. Oh, he's telling me that I will attract more wild Pokemon when I'm wearing the running shoes. So if I really want to avoid wild wild Pokemon. I have to take them off. Whoa, Tiz says that the Starly line, they like the Starly line of birds. Yeah, that is a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like they're, they're yeah, they're cool. Staraptor, dude. I know that this is not Mr. Pokemon's house, so I'm not gonna talk to him. Hey, what the hell? Oh How in the world can you be so oblivious to my eye-catching house? Hold it right there. When you follow that path up north, you will see Mr. Pokemon's house. But before you go, let me finish what I have to say. I can't believe they didn't let me skip this. Do you have any... Apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees, too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They're quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be... Because I have something for you. Jake obtained the apricorn box. Jake put the apricorn box in the key items. Guys, help me out. Apricorn? Apricorn? Apricorn. Apricorn? Apricorn. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. With that corn box, you can carry so many corns. You'll be a decent corn collector. Alright. Let's collect some corn. It's a corn tree. It's a green. <laughs> we got a green. We got a green. April. No, Tiz, you can't just type the word. You have to. You have to do it in a way that I'm like. That I. That is communicative. No. What. What did I. What did I say? What did I say? Is the first one. <laughs> Chat, is it app like an app on your phone or ape like the monkey? You're killing me, chat. You're killing me, chat. This is why you're going to be the rival, chat. This is why you're going to be the rival. No, Jake. Tiz is right. It's ape. <laughs> chat, this is... 
I I <laughs> I feel like we're we're setting up the wrong kind of streamer chat relationship here. All right. Oh my god. You're brutalizing me. Live. All right. Forrest says a apricorn, apricorn, apricorn. So not apricorn. Man, I've really, I gotta tell you, I kind of thought it was apricorn. I did, that's what I thought. An antidote, nice. Man, is anybody poison, poisoning us out here? A Pokemon can use its moves as long as the moves ha still have PP. When a move has no PP remaining, that Pokemon cannot use that move. Yeah, all right. Cool. Chat, this trolling, this trolling must cease. Ooh, Caterpie, cool. I've been trying to decide as we're as we're making our way through here if any of the Pokemon we find here are good enough to make it on the team. You know what I mean? If anybody anybody here is a uh, has a future alongside Big Toe. I don't know. I do like I I do enjoy Caterpie. I am a Caterpie appreciator. Is it is I gotta I gotta go to the internet with this one with this this apricorn business. It's in, it's in my it's in my head now. Man, I don't. All right, are apricorns real things or did Pokemon make them up? I don't know. Caterpie's ability is really good. Really, what is Caterpie's ability? Hmm. Only use Jotomon. Interesting, interesting. Only use those Gen 2 guys. I'll consider it. Let's uh let's click off our uh our shoes here. Let's just creep. Let's creep up here. Oh, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. The Pokemon hurt us. We can take oh level two Pidgey, come on. Totodile, big toe. No problem. Man, there's something about it. I know we're like at the beginning of the game, which which most people find like uninteresting, but there's something about playing this playing this older Pokemon game that is uh I don't know. I they, there's something compelling about it. I think a lot of it though is that I'm playing with chat and I love this cozy vibe we have going on right now. But there's something about this. I don't know, it's charming. Nice, we got a pink. I feel like I'm never gonna touch those. I'm never going to do anything with them. Based on the apricot. And do we agree that it's apricot and not apricot? I don't know. How am I playing this? Guys, I've, I've got my DS hooked up. I figured it out. It took a lot of work, but I figured it out. Uh, it was I who sent an email. It's like it's like on the floor over there. Otherwise, I would show you. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> it was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. No. Okay, we're done. We're not talking about the apricots anymore. All right, we're moving on. No, chat, chat. No. All right, we're done. We're we're moving. We're 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 playing Pokemon now. It was, it was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Who is this guy? I don't remember this guy at all. Is this Mr. Pokemon? This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Jake obtained the mystery egg. Ooh, we get an egg right off the top? That's kind of sick. Oh, it's going in the key item, so we don't get the egg. All right. A friend of mine from Ecritique gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. Weird thing to say when he's standing right there. You are returning to Professor Elm here. Your Pokemon should have some rest. Ooh, that's actually helpful. That's actually helpful. We were getting low. Thought I was going to have to uh, use those potions. Wow, look at Oak, dude. Definitely does not have running shoes on. And with, and with that, 
I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Jake. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor L, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Jake received the Pokédex from Professor Oak. Go meet many kinds of Pokémon and complete that Pokédex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. <laughs> Gotta get to Goldenrod for my radio show. <laughs> Jake, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. Wow, he did not trust that feeling. He had to get my number. Hey. Hey, he's out. He's gone. No goodbye. All right. Are we good to go? Yeah, we're good to go. All right. Is there anything in here? Anything we should do? No? All right. Let's go to Big Toe. Oh, Aiden, dude. I, I, I don't know if people know this. I have so many DS and 3DS consoles in my home. Pure, pure psycho stuff, I'm telling you. Okay? It's like, I got a 3DS. I got a 3DS XL. I got like a new, I've got like a Japanese new 3DS. Uh, I've got a DSi, a DS. Like, like. We're, we're swimming in the DS consoles over here. All right, let's head back to, um... Let's head back to Elm. Wow, we got through a lot of grass there. Who is the magical creature playing old games? Oh my god. Court Lud Court Lud Ladond in the chat. Wait a second. Court Lalond? Lalond? Wait a second. Have I been reading? Oh my god, I've been I've been I've been reading my friend Court's name incorrectly this whole time. I've apparently stroked out every time I see Court's name, and I have been inserting a D for the second L. I thought it was Ladond. It is Lalonde. Lalonde. Alright. That's on me. That's on me, everybody. Apologies to Court. Court, are you have you started your new thing that I can direct people to? Or not yet. I know. <laughs> oh, Court, you're a you're a you're a gentle man. That is that is some. You're a patient gentleman. You can tell this man has children. He just lets it go. Just lets it roll off his back. You know what I mean? Just lets it roll off his back. Oh God. Just. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, we're having a good time. We're playing Pokemon Heart Gold. A little DS game. Now, where's, like, normally when you go backwards, when you're backtracking, they give you, like, the secret path where you can zoom your way out without going through the ground. Oh, this is it, baby. We found it. All right, put your uh, put your Speed Racer music on. We're zooming, baby. We're going back to Professor Elm's house. Oh yeah, we're we're making great time. And we might might as well heal up old old uh, Big Toe, right? Three dads in a console will always be around. Excellent. Three dads in a console. What a great time. What a great time. Just dads talking about video games. Will will I? Do I have to have a child to join three dads in a console? Is that the, are those the parameters? Are the, like, I cannot be on the pod unless I sire a, um, 
in air. Unless I sire in air. It's a it's a compelling argument to um finally take the plunge, you know what I mean? Oh guys, it's happening. Chat, it's happening. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. Wait, hold on. Let, let's reevaluate. Let's reevaluate the voice of this character. We know that we're naming them chat. <laughs> That's a Pokemon too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. I think that's way more of this character. Yeah, Court, to come on, to come on, do you have to, we use the term make a baby, but sure, if you want to use language from the 1800s, I won't stop you. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Wow. Our rival has a Chikorita. No, Chad, that's what you sound like. When I read your messages, that's the voice I read them in. It's like a, it's like an inflated clown. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. I hear an inflated clown voice. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I, <laughs> that's what I see in my head. Anytime any one of you types a little message out with your little fingies. All right. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here, Bungle Room. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh wow, chat's getting mad, dude. Chat's getting mad. I think I think part of the part of this though is just that. What is rage? What is that move? I think part of the anger is just that they know that I'm about to uh, I'm about to uh, take them down in battle. Each time the user is hit, it gains. While this move is in use, no, this is too much. I'm, I'm just going to go with Scratch. Is that the meta? Should I be using Rage or Scratch? You're an inflated... Bro, no, you're a... Good, oh, my God. Chat has turned on me. In a big way, chat has turned on me. Guys, this is not good. Guys, stop. I'm... I'm... The difference here is that I am too close to being an actual clown. Whereas you all have respectability. You are in the safety and privacy of your of your homes or wherever you may be. I am doing stupid voices. So when you call me a clown, it cuts deep. It cuts deep. Oh god. Oh man. Chat, please. We defeated Passerby Boy. <laughs> Sorry, I thought of his voice again. <laughs> Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Give it back! That's my trainer card! Oh no! You saw my name! <laughs> Oh my god. Let's heal up old uh let's heal up old Big Toe before we head back to the lab, dude. I'm having too much fun doing the voice chat. I'm sorry. I'm having too much fun with it. Yeah, a bunch of a bunch of people getting their feelings hurt out here. Chat, this is unrelated. This is a completely unrelated uh sidebar, but uh Gabriel Reed, Jake has a future as a voice actor. Wow, very kind. Okay, chat is, they. now we're getting some kindness in chat because that is not true, but it is very kind. Uh, did anybody else get big snow today? I got massive snow where I live. I was just thinking about that. I was like, man, dude, wild snow out here today. Jake has a future as a criminal. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> oh, man. When do I get my Pokeballs, dude? Right, let's get let's get back to the lab. I actually don't remember if we get to keep the um, the egg or not. I hope we get to keep the egg because that's a cool addition to the team. Little egg, little egg guy, and I don't even know who it is, so don't spoil it for me, chat. My 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 guess would be it's a Togepi. I feel like 
yeah, I don't know. Don't try to change the subject. Wow, the Tiz just gave me the hard read. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one. Whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my. So you must be the one who did it? Is this commentary? Are we getting commentary about the police being incompetent in this video game? Was 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 Pokemon ahead of the curve? And anti-police rhetoric in 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 Pokemon? I don't know. Hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Oh, I got his name. Uh, it was pretty much the second you heard his voice, you pretty much knew exactly. You're right. Oh, I know. I would know that voice. I would know that voice anywhere, dude. I would know that. I see. So chat was his name. Yes, that was chat. Thanks for helping my investigation. <laughs> my next next time is this a red haired <laughs> Oh my god, we got him, dude. We got him. Yeah, the chat agrees that that was that was there was some uh Yeah, there was some anti cop stuff there. Cheek! I'm glad they understand you are innocent. See you later. Bye, Lara. Where's your Meryl, dude? Jake! This is terrible! Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Jake handed the mystery egg to Professor L. Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Jake, is that true? That's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Jake, I knew you were a little different. Everyone stop. Everyone's g- every <laughs> Things are gonna be fun! Your Pokemon seemed really like you, so... Why your Pokemon, your single Pokemon I gave you eight minutes ago. So why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League champion. Or not. <laughs> yeah. Becoming the champion is not at all easy. But you can certainly challenge the... Jake, challenging the gyms scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. <laughs> all right. I'll get right on that. You have anything for me? There was a loud noise outside when we went to look. Someone stole a Pokemon. That stolen Pokemon. I wonder how it's doing. They say a Pokemon raised by a bad person turns bad itself. Yeah, sure. Oh, he's different. Right? <laughs> Dang it, chat. <laughs> All right, let's go see. Uh, let's go see mom. It's funny that the house is my house. I'm I'm the true heir. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see. So, you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, every time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. Every, every time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to... Is this a trap? Is this a ch ch chat? Is this a trap? Is is mom trying to like... What What's going on here, chat? Is mom trying to get like... Like, uh... Like payments for like... Like, like childcare or something? Is, is, is this... What's, what's going on here? Why would I, why would I let mom save money? Why not just save the money myself? 
Why does this even exist in the game? Was this a was this a measure meant to? She'll send you items. Will she spend my money to send me specific items, or will I just get items? Is this in here so that when like kids lose, they don't lose all their money? It's a trap early game, but late game you get good items. Really, like actually good items. Are you really gonna say no to your mom? All right, all right. I didn't need to get the hard read like that. All right. I didn't. Apologies, apologies, chat. I didn't know we needed. Uh, okay, sorry. I didn't know it was that kind of situation. Okay. All right, mom's gonna mom's gonna take take some some of my money, I guess. So <laughs> Dang, dude. All right. Sorry, I doubted you, mom. You only raised me. So is this it? Is there anybody else in town we should see before we go? I guess we should go see Lyra, dude. Probably never gonna see Lyra again. Probably tell her she has no chance. Hi, Jake. Ly Lyra's not here. She's been keeping herself busy helping the professor. Okay, well, she's not here. Time to raid her room. <laughs> All right. Oh, she has a Wii. Nice. Wow, this room looks so much like my room. Okay, I won't mess with her PC. Can't be can't be digging through her uh, private text documents. We'll just wait for Lyra to come back. All right, this is taking too long. Let's go. All right, I guess we're never seeing Lyra again. All right. Oh, this, this freaking lady. All right, this time I mean it. This, look at me. This time I mean it. This time I'm leaving this town and I'm never going to have to see your dumb, ugly face ever again. You, you will not hold me to the ground, okay? Just because you're chained to this dumb loser town with three houses doesn't mean that I can't do bigger and better things with my big toe. You wish you had my big toe. Goodbye. All right, we made it. We're out, baby. Jake! You can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me! This is an awful demonstration. Awful. Yes, yes, you you must bring me over, Lyra. Dear God, dear God. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Chad. I, I listen. I told you at the start of this that we'd be uh, we'd be taking it slow and breezy, lemon squeezy. All right. I made no promises about how fast we were gonna get through this. Hey, Chad. Tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's old uh, Valentine's Day. Do we have any, uh, do we have any Valentine's Day plans in the chat? Any Valentine's Day plans? Any, uh, anything exciting happening? Any, uh, special meals? Special, I don't know, whatever else you do? Alright, we, we watched the demonstration about how to catch, how to catch a Pokemon. Do people like Valentine's Day in the chat, or are we Valentine's Day haters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got it, dog. I got it. Give me the, give me the balls. Give me the balls. Yep. Great. Roger Stedman celebrating tonight to avoid the crowds tomorrow. Roger, you're a smart man. You're a smart man. Never, never occurred to me that you could just pretend. There's nothing about the day itself. Just got back from an expensive trip. Wow, you guys are smart. We got a, we got a bunch of smarties in the chat. Couples massages. Johnny, man, dang, dude. Couples massages for real? Never got a massage in my life, dude. Let alone a couple massage. Dang. 
After work, I'm cooking dinner. Pretty low key. Let her pick the dishes. Let her pick the dishes. What does that mean? Chat, what are you exposing me to? I feel like I'm having a. I feel like I'm growing up live. <laughs> Jake grows upstream. Chat just tells him about adult things that we do. Oh my god. Oh, I made this mistake last time. We can't be going left. We gotta go up. Roger, dude, nothing ruins a Valentine's Day dinner more than a two to three hour wait at a crowded restaurant where the wait staff is overworked. Dude, Roger, I, I feel you, dude. Because you're right. Even if you have a even if you have a reservation, it's like how how much do you like general as a as a general rule, how much does anyone like being in a crowded restaurant? You know? Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just antisocial or something. I just don't like being anywhere that's crowded. <laughs> if it's crowded, I don't want to be there. Get me out. Let me go somewhere else. Let her pick out what dishes she wants to make. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was I was thinking about the literal dishes, like the dinner plates, you know what I mean? I was like, who people have favorite dinner plates now? It's like, come on, guys. Do better. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Mountain Road? Do you think we can get a cool early wild Pokemon here to, to add to our team? Is that what this spot is for? The biggest loser out here. <laughs> oh man. The biggest loser out here. Yeah, Roger, I feel you, dog. I feel you. I'll see this this guy's even here being like, dude, you should explore and find these special Pokemon out here. <gasps> a Geo dude. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good find, right? Hit him with the hit him with the super effective move, Big Toe. Here's the thing, if this Geo dude can withstand this, they weren't see they weren't worthy of being on the team. They weren't worthy of, be, of being on the team. If the Geo dude lived, we would have added them to the team, but they did not. So they don't get to be on the team. Oh. No, we've been through this. We've been through this, Geo dude. We don't want you on the team now. Now the attitude has shifted. Thank you. We we knew how that was gonna end, you know? Alright, let's get out of here. There's nothing here for us. Just a bunch of Geo dudes. Plus, we're trying to use Johto Pokemon, right? AJ, dude, these, these losers and lames all across this route, they don't even deserve to be stepped on by Big Toe. Whoa. Where do we even go after this chap? What's my next mission? Where am I headed? I have no idea. I have no idea. Man, how cool would it be if you could just play this on Switch? You know what I mean? That would be wild. You could even just kind of do it like the way that I have it set up here, you know what I mean? Just split the screen up. I don't think it'd be that bad. I don't think it'd be that bad. Maybe you have a special button if you want to switch between layouts, you know? Like, I think like the Wii U did something like that. You could do it. It's not as hard. I, I think it's not as impossible as some people make it out to seem. Chad, am I going the wrong way? North. Go north? All right. Hmm. 
Man, more Pidgeys. Give me something, game. Give me something more interesting than these Pidgeys. Whoa. Dang, Pidgey. Pidgey, I'm tempted to put you on the team since you survived that, that attack. Tempted. Not going to, but tempted. Big toes growing up. Man, so we're really just going right back up through where we uh, where we were before. Roger says, yeah, the Switch missed a major virtual console opportunity in comparison to the Wii Wii U. Yeah. The Switch does so well, you know what I mean? That I feel like the a lot of this stuff has just been so stretched out. Everything's been, like, prolonged. So we have, like, you know, the Switch just got Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games last year. I feel like barely anything's been added to those. It just happened so slow, and that's what you can do. That's what you can do when you're, when you're, a, when you're a big, fat winner. Yo, is this a trainer? Is this our first trainer battle? Let's go! First trainer battle! Nintendo could make some really niche, obscure DS screen attachment for the Switch, only to be used for... <laughs> I, it's funny, I, I, I actually think that a... I'm really hoping that there are some second screen shenanigans, shenanigans going on with the Switch. Ugh, oh, chat. Chat, I just got an email from somebody I'm, I'm like, working with, like, about, like, an invoice I sent them earlier today. And they, they, for some reason, anytime this person emails me, it comes, it comes to me in like the smallest font and I like can't zoom in. So I just have to, I just have to like study it. All right. It looks, looks fine to me. I don't know. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll get, we'll get back to business another time. This is, <laughs> this is awful, man. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's take let's take out this rattata. Hit him with the water gun. In all seriousness, no, they should seriousness. In all seriousness, though, they really should have released some of these older gen games as a collection on Switch. Yeah, so I actually think that the. Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games are going to get announced for Switch on Pokemon Day this year. I actually do think that that is going to happen. Um, I think that I think that's going to surprise people. I think I think those are actually going to hit this year. They'll get announced on Pokemon Day. I, I'm not sure if they'll come out, if anything will come out, but I think they'll get announced. Hey, can I get your number? I'll ring you up to battle. That's not happening. That's that is absolutely not happening. Yeah, I'm curious how they're gonna do it. I I kind of think that they'll just put them into put them into NSO, but I you know hard to resist all that money. And the reason you would do that, chat, the reason you would do that is because um, you throw them up on NSO, and then you tell people if they want to transfer their Pokemon from their old games to the new games or whatever, they have to get a Pokemon um, what is it called like home subscription. You make your you make your money that way, you know. Nintendo makes their money on the NSO subscriptions. Pokemon makes their money with their Pokemon Home subscriptions. Everybody's happy. Oh, Matt Sawinski in the chat. Oh my God, Jake playing the best Pokemon game? Hell yeah! It was, it's so, Matt, that's what we're here to discover. That's what we're here to discover. We're trying to see if um uh, if if that's the case. If this game is as good as everyone says it is. We've been having a good time. We got our starter here, Big Toe. He's he's been treating as well. I think they'll charge maybe four to ten dollars, depending on what platform those games came from. That's interesting, Roger. So, Roger, you're saying that they're just going to throw those games up on the eShop? If so, if they throw those games up on the eShop, I'm so sorry. They will never charge four dollars. That is dreaming. Ten dollars minimum. Minimum. 
Ten dollars minimum. I still haven't gotten the NSO expansion. Eh, get it, you know. Get it when it calls to you. When are we get in a Jake Discord server, dude? I, people have been asking me for this on like Patreon and stuff, and I, I. Oh, there's nothing up here. Oh wait, no, there's a, there's a little crack. I I'm just like such a. I think I'm like too old. I just like don't understand Discord super well. I used, you know, I used it for work before, so I know how it works. But I'm like, what do I even do in a Discord server? Do I just talk to people? What do I do in there? I don't know. So I'm just nervous about it. I, you know, but maybe maybe we'll figure that out one day. Matt, dude, twenty dollars, twenty dollars minimum of eShop. Matt, I can see that too. Do the uh, do red, blue, and yellow, twenty dollars each. $50 if you buy them all three together in a bundle. I could see it. 20 bones each, though. My ex-roommate beat this game, Elite Four, under five hours. Lion of Demise, that is literally impossible. There is no way. There is no way. There is no way that that is possible. Man. You're telling me I could beat this game in five hours if I had some self-control and I wasn't doing voices all the time? I just don't believe you. I don't believe you. Five hours is too, is so fast. Yo, full-time solo creator art? Oh my god, Josie Woe in the chat. Josie, uh, definitely, uh, chat, please click that name. Give Josie a sub if you haven't already. Josie's great, making great content over there. Josie's, like, really YouTubing out here. Josie's YouTubing, like, like every other day, I feel like. I'm YouTubing when, you know, when, <laughs> when I have time. <laughs> and, of course, every Thursday. Catch my drift, baby. Uh... And Josie is also a featured channel on my channel. So if you go to my channel and you like scroll down a little bit, I've got some sweet friends there. And uh, you can go right to Josie's channel from there. Matt Sawinski, have you played this one before or first time? Matt, I definitely played this before. I definitely played this before as a as a child. You know what I mean? But was I like a, was I like a conscious gamer? Was I a thoughtful human being that existed in a meaningful way or was I just gliding through life with my smooth wrinkleless baby brain unfortunately it was the latter so here I am really drinking it in for the first time I would say you know what I mean really really making note of all of the uh, you know aesthetic accoutrements if you will everything that they're doing here just kind of how they're serving this game up you know what I mean so it's been interesting so far. My take, my immediate take is that I'm seeing too many Pidgeys. But uh, besides that, things are going good. Loving your content over here. Wow, Josie, thank you so much. Matt Sawinski, just amoeba life. Dude. <laughs> amoeba life. Like, like, let's be honest with ourselves, everybody. How old do you get before you stop just being like an amoeba and you actually have a perspective? You know what I mean? I think when you're like when you're a baby and when you're a kid and stuff, it's like you got to you got to like you're reacting to a lot. You know what I mean? Your perspective is so influenced by all the stuff around you. You're just you're just kind of like going with the the flow of the river. You're swimming downstream. But I think eventually you grow up and you start to in some ways swim upstream. When does that happen, chat? When does that happen? When, what is the age where you go from passive to active? I must know. I wonder if I, if I had a child, if I would have better insight into this. 37 years old. Stop this. Cease this at once. 25? Guys, I'm worried about my chat now. I'm officially worried about my chat. I was thinking like nine. 23.
23, fully developed at 36, you should really join GVG. What is that? I'm definitely not there yet, TBH. Oh my god. Oh, the Good Vibes Gaming. You know, I know what that is. I know what that is. It didn't, it didn't come to me immediately. Josie, you're like 20 or 21 or something. No, stop it. Stop it. We're all there. As a 15-year-old, I can confidently say it's 14. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, chat, you're killing me. You're killing me, chat. You're absolutely killing me. 15 or 16. Yeah, when things kick in. No, I got it. I got the good vibes game. I put it together. I put it together afterwards. Guys, before... I, th I think a lot of people don't know this about me. Before I started working on YouTube, I was not on YouTube ever. I didn't watch YouTube. I didn't subscribe to things. I There were like a couple of channels. There were like a couple of channels that I was like, I like these things. But I was not in the algorithm. So the past couple of years have been a lot of me like learning, you know, understanding who all these people out here are. Oh, we don't want to go in that cave because it's dark. Got it. We'll move on. I agree. Probably low, low teens. Okay, we all agree. Low teens. If if I, if I maybe be so, be so bold. Bar mitzvah time, perhaps. Bar mitzvah time? King of the Hills agreed on being a guest on GVG. Oh, I, I, I'm not in control of that, guys. I, I, don't, I barely know any. I, I don't know anybody over there. So we would have to um, we would have to do some introductions. We would have to somebody would have to walk me up at the governor's ball, if you will, like an event that we all attend the governor's ball. I'd be looking like, you know, in my finest, finest formal wear. Somebody would have to escort me by the hand, walk me over across the promenade take me to a duke or an earl of gvg and say hello this is jake state my dowry things of that nature and then maybe we could get the ball rolling on something like that maybe you only subscribed to hasanavi dude the tis i am i i don't know if this is a bit or if you actually know that about me but that's kind of true that's kind of true didn't you do a Smash Brothers stream like a year or two ago? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Not with GVG. Absolutely not. Jake needs to dress up in a tux and knock on GVG's door. Oh my god. Have you met Jake? Exactly, dude. At the Game Awards. At the Game Awards. Hey, everyone. A GVG was replying to your big tweet a few years ago, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. No, uh, well, listen. A lot of people replied to that tweet. I had to, I had to turn notifications off on that tweet because i couldn't it was it got out of control that tweet that tweet blew up i didn't think anybody would care so um i'm sure a lot of people said stuff that i missed so but you know i appreciated all of the all of the kindness that people showed me and continue to show me uh endlessly you know i'll ask them on their next live stream wow thank you renee someone put jake into a dress would not be opposed wouldn't say no. It'd have to be nice though. It'd have to be nice. You know what the you know what the dress drama is right now, everybody? Let me let me give you a peek behind the curtain into my life. So my uh I'm getting married this year in the fall of September. Love my life, Sarah. And um she has picked out her wedding dress. She knows what it is. But we are keeping it a secret from me. And you then so so you have to decide who the the people that you are friends with, who can keep the secret and who cannot. So, like, her family, they can keep the secret, so they know. My mother does not get to know what the wedding dress looks like, because she will leak it. She will leak, She cannot be trusted with that information, so she will leak it. There's the dress, dress gossip, baby. Jake, Tifa cosplay when? Tifa cosplay when? Interesting. Here's what, Well, here's the deal. I, I think some people know, in addition to my this being my wedding year, this is also the year that I will be getting swole so that I can do a ripped Halloween costume. By the time Halloween approaches, I plan on being jacked so that I can do like an amazing, like a Geralt of Rivia Halloween costume. You know what I'm saying? That is the only reason I want to be strong. And then I will completely lose all the muscles. But I will have one great Halloween. So maybe we, we pivot into Tifa. Maybe I do ripped Tifa. Could be good. It could be good. 
Okay, Chad, I'm going to need you to stop talking about my mother now. All right, no, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, the uh, Get Swole 2024, so far it's going well. I'd say. Going, going well. Got some good, uh, got some good habits, you know? Rituals, if you will. Guys, I'm so excited to... I, I, not this month, but I think next month, I got to do some uh, writing for a big brand, a big IP. Uh, this, uh, I can't, I, I literally cannot say anything beyond that. I got to do, I got to write for a mat, like way bigger than whatever you're imagining right now. Bigger, bigger. And I get to talk about it next month. Um, but I'm so excited to share them. Some, uh, some of my new work uh yeah it's gonna be a good time this arc is getting insane <laughs> jake more like jack <laughs> oh my god do diamond push-up to look bulk but not as much strength lmao did you pick Geralt because hassan did that co no he did not tis hassan dressed up as Geralt. i'm looking this up right now dude Hassan Geralt. I, I, I've been saying this for years. Wow. This is good. Well, I can't do this now. All right. I've been uh, I've been embarrassed. We're going to have to go with Popeye the Sailor Man. Uh, plan, two, plan B. I'm going to say it's bigger than anything Chad has suggested so far. <laughs> oh, shit. Dang. Um, but yeah, it's a good time. But it's it, but it's it's while well, the IP is big, ultimately not a big deal. All right, it's just interesting, you know what I mean? Like leave the old job, and I think a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, what? Where is Jake going? What video game channel is Jake going to next?" And I didn't know how to tell people that I'm like, guys, I don't know. I don't know if it's for me. I don't know if the the, the gamer life is for me. We got We got other stuff going on. You know what I mean? But that's why I'm glad I get to do this and hang out with you all. Just, just in like a, you get to cut loose a little. You know what I'm saying? It's a good time. All right, I kind of zoned out here. I've been, I've been so interested in talking to you. Just been kind of going through the motions over here in Pokemon World. Not sure what we've been doing. Jake Mueller says this will forever be my favorite Pokemon game, dude. Jake, a lot of people are coming through in the chat and saying the same thing. People are coming through and just like, people have fond memories of this game. Okay, we're getting something called the Versus Recorder. Do we like this? Let's go, Meryl. Dude, let's go, Meryl. Chat, are you seeing this? Are you, Chat, are you seeing this right now? Let's go, Meryl. Is this a sign? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, Jake, would you prefer they continue with 3D graphics that actually look good or HD 2D for Pokemon? Dude, what a loaded question. I just wish they could make good looking 3D graphics. You know what I'm saying? I just wish they could do something that wasn't so muddy. So yesterday I was streaming on Twitch and we were watching uh, trailers for Pokemon games on Switch. We watched like the Let's Go trailers and we watched the Legends Arceus trailers. And I really liked what aesthetically the Legends Arceus trailers were doing. But even that game, it's just a muddy mud mess. Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, muddy mud mess. Yeah. Gage plays, hi Jake. Just finished Scarlet five minutes ago. Saw you were streaming, dude, nice. Finish Scarlet? Like finish finish? Like did the, wh what does that mean? F beat the Elite Four? Beat the DLC? Caught a Psyduck? What's finished? You know. Who is this weirdo? Shard de berry, shard de berry, yeah, yeah. I trade berry for a shard. If you bring me some shards, I will give you three berries, yeah. Well, never talking to that guy again. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, listen, I like Brilliant Diamond more than the average bear. I do. 
I do. I was talking about on the stream yesterday that I thought like my fiance Sarah played through that game. First Pokemon game she's ever played through and beaten. Kept her engaged the whole time. And I think some of these older games have a much more authored experience. You know what I mean? It's like uh, since they're not open world and they're less focused on like a repeatable tasks, you have something that is more just, you know, linear. You have something that's more authored, more like attention paid to that one path you're walking. I think there's something to be said for that. And there is a degree to which I miss that element of Pokemon games. Like going through a cave and your experience going through that cave is a very specific thing. Your experience going through a route is a very specific thing. There is there is a degree to which I, um, I think we have lost something there for sure. For sure. Oh wait, this is kind of cool, getting some lore. It was about three years ago. This group of thugs called Team Rocket was involved in wrongdoing. They were abusing Pokemon. But bad things never last. A boy did a wonderful job and Team Rocket was disbanded. And that's the whole game. That was Pokemon Red and Blue, baby. I wish they'd spend longer making a good engine and sticking with it for a few years. Oh, Smash Highlights, I'm so sorry. That is a dream that will never come true. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. It's tough, you know what I mean? Pokemon is so much bigger than video games. It's, it's like Pokemon has bigger concerns than making good video games. A, a Pokemon game never comes out and it's like, oh, we're trying to be game of the year. A Pokemon game comes out and it's like, oh my God, we're trying to support the massive Pokemon brand with a multimedia merchandising approach. And one of those prongs is video games. <laughs> oh man. I get some, uh, get some information here. I did want to say for what it's worth, you aren't along with, probably alone, with putting more work than your coworkers and not being seen for that. I worked 40 hours while a full-time student last year and was refused to raise, not to be a buzzkill. Just wanted to say I relate and you're not alone. Oh yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. I think everybody knows what I'm saying. It's, it's tough, you know, cause we're in this world of like reactionary YouTubers and people like to have, um, I don't know, uh, uh, what, how do I want to say this? Like vaguely parasocial drama. And I think a lot of people get something out of, uh, Punching down and what what do I call it? Performative dunking, I think, is a big part of it. But the truth is, is that it's not it's not that dramatic. It's pretty much what you just said in that comment. It's just it's just you know every everyone that has worked, everyone that has worked, has had this kind of experience with managers who they don't see eye to eye to and at the end of the day have different priorities. And we all have to decide where we are, where we draw the line in terms of when that is just the way that jobs work. And there's always a little bit of frustration, you know, cause you're trapped in this, this system and hierarchy of power. Or if it's, if it gets too far and your personal value and how much you value yourself and the work you're doing is not being reflected uh, in the work environment. You know what I mean? Bison Howard. A same argument holds for Zelda 2. Some prefer the more curated experience from the 2D games versus open world and Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. Smash highlights. Imagine how well a Pokemon game would sell if it was good, though. <laughs> yeah, dude. It would set the world on fire. It'd be absolutely crazy. If there was a Pokemon game that, like, you could argue was game of the year. Dear God. Dear God. So is this our first gym, everybody? Is this who we take? We take on... We, we should just go in and fight this guy? I'm a little scared. I feel like we're not prepared. We All we have is Big Toe. Give me some guidance, chap. What should we do? Should we train up Big Toe? Should we get another member of the team? What's our next move? Should we go up here? What is this place? What is this? Sprout Tower? Experience the way of Pokemon to cast aside your doubts? Whoa, chat. I was looking for guidance because I had doubts. And now, this might be what I what I was looking for. This might be the answer to my prayers. Is this it, chat? Maybe. Maybe this is it. I feel like Sprout Tower implies that there's grass Pokemon, though, so maybe we should get something that's not Big Toe, just in case we get into trouble, things get a little dicey. 
Um, so where can we get a good wild Pokemon here? Whoa. Bonjour, you are a trainer. Battle gym leader. Win you did? No. Is that so? Then study shall you. Follow me. Here, teacher. I am. Good. It is you study here. Alright. Uh, you know. Never look a gift Frenchman in the mouth. Okay. Oh, dude, are these kids playing on their DSs? Nice. I traded my best Pokemon to the guy next to me. Huh? The Pokemon I just got is holding something. All right. Weird kids. What are you going to teach me, dude? Hey, liar. Wonderful uh, Pokemon, yes. Teach you I will be to be better trainer. What do you want to know? Want to be a uh, winner is, is you? No. No. So you want to know how to raise Pokemon well? So you want to know how to battle well? Oh, smart student, you are nothing more do I teach. Good to Pokemon you must be. Great. You're not wrong, teach. You are not wrong. Hey, you know, it's a little, I, I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a group? Whoa, I love groups. If you join a group, you can compete or cooperate with fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Want to join? No, this is weird. I don't know what's going on here. I'm not joining a group. Get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> Gotta bounce, my dude. Have a good stream. Big toe forever. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for dropping by. We'll talk soon. Matt, I, I, gotta, I gotta ask you about PAX East later. I gotta see if you're going. I'm going. I'm gonna be there, baby. Maybe we hang. All right, let's go find a let's go find a Pokemon chat. Let's go find a Pokemon. Add to the team. Used to play the DS at school with friends, but mainly played Mario Kart. Oh, good time. Love hearing your thoughts on game design, such as figuring out how Pokemon Scarlet could have worked more social link aspects into its DLC, and how remasters of games can be a dual-edged sword. Wow, thanks, Bobby VG. I can tell you're you're really listening to the things I'm saying. Yeah, Bobby, some some people get it. Some people get my, my perspective, where I'm coming from. But I also, man, I got some haters. I got some people that hear the things I say, the way I critique games, and are like, man, Jake and I are not the same. I hate him. And, you know, that just comes with the territory, so. <laughs> oh, my God. It's kind of fun, though. Oh, nice. We got an HM. Wow, remember HMs? I guess we're still doing that in this era. Rock Smash. Whoa. Now, chat. Riddle me this. If I teach a Pokemon an HM, okay, this is my answer. Hidden moves like this are hard for your Pokemon to forget once they've learned them. Okay. So don't teach Toad Big Toe Rock Smash. All right. Good to know. Do not teach Big Toe Rock Smash. Ruins of Alf. Whoa. Dang, they're really letting us go places early in this game before even going to the first gym. What is this stuff? Can I just go in here? No, there's nothing in here. Oh, well, I found something, baby. Oh, wait, where can we get a Pokemon, though, guys? Ruins Reese. What is this? I'm just, guys, I'm just looking for a place to get Pokemon. Whoa. Oh, we're going to get somebody good here, dude. We're gonna, get, we're gonna get somebody good here. Yo, look at this lady. This place has a mystical quality to it. Or a historic quality. Or an eerie quality. Or an ancient quality. Or a solemn quality. Or a frosty quality. In essence, it feels sort of ethereal. Nice. Can Pokemon pop up here or am I wasting my time? I'm wasting my time, aren't I? Oh my god. Chat, what have I done? What have I done, chat? Chat, what have I done? This is not good, chat. Why would I why would I come? Well, I gotta go pick up the kids from school. Great first stream, Jake. Looking forward to more of them. Don't forget to think up a different voice for chat. <laughs> no. We've decided no, we know exactly what chat's voice is. 
See you, Bungle. Thanks for coming through. Appreciate you. Huh. Yo, this is wild. Could you imagine having something like this in the 3D games? You know what I mean? Fully realized. You just walk in, you're just like, yeah, dude. Just a weird spot. I think Legends had some stuff like this. It was cool. Authored, dude. Authored. Not just open planes. Yeah, man. Nice stuff. All right, let's keep rolling. Yo, do I get a reflection in this? Yo, nice. Good video game. All right, let's go get a Pokemon. We got to find one, chat. We got to add somebody to the team. Route 32. Let's see. I like it. I like it, chat. Okay, we're gonna need a Bellsprout nickname. I need a Bellsprout nickname. Yeah, guy. Yeah, you guys. You guys. I can tell. You guys in chat. You know what I mean. There's just something. There's something to it. It feels like a. Uh, it makes the world feel specific. Whereas I think in like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, like I really like exploring the kind of like open plains and like the different environments. The environments are environments that you could find in other video games, right? Just like hills, desert, snow, beach, like stuff we've seen before. And it doesn't, so it doesn't feel as specific or meaningful. It feels like, oh, we're going through this area of this kind of video game. And when you have stuff like that, when you have a specific statue, when you have like a, this is a place that has meaning to this world, it really helps make an experience more memorable and it helps you tie experiences you have to locations. Right now, I think a problem Pokemon has is that you don't tie any of your experiences to like any locations because they're not distinct enough. Uh, so it like all kind of blends together. And the things that you do remember are things like the creatures um, and the, uh, you know, just whatever it is that you do remember in a Pokemon game. Uh, Alright. Uh, I think if we hit it with the water gun, it'll, it won't it will die. It's kind of risky though, right? It's just... No, it won't die. Cool. Now we hit it with the Pokeball. Ooh, big toe, that hurt. That's why, hey, that's why Bellsprout's getting on the team, baby. Yeah, I feel like a lot of open world games lean more on generic environments rather than distinct landmarks. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's tough. You gotta find a balance, right? Because you want things to be familiar in a way that you can still play on expectations, um, but not so familiar that you feel like the whole experience blends together in a way that's like generic. Um, all right. Bell Sprout. Pokemon number uh, 64, the flower Pokemon. Even though its body is extremely skinny, it is blindingly fast when catching its prey. Wow. Big suck. Give a nickname to the cot Bellsprout. Yes, of course. All right, chat. What have we come up with? Let's see. Liberty. Muncie. Boop Goop. Totodile's big toe, so bell sprout, big mouth. No, we can't keep doing this. We're, people will think we're people that aren't regulars are gonna think we're weird. Okay, I can't, <laughs> I can't tweet out a picture of the team, but it's all big body part, you know. <laughs> oh my god, I like Brussel. Brussel, Brussel, we like Brussel. It has prey. What does it eat? That's a good question. I'm just thinking about what a good nickname for a bell sprout would be. What does what does bell sprout evolve into as well? We need to keep that in mind when we're uh, when we're coming up with nicknames because we don't want it to outgrow its nickname. Uh, so we got to make sure that it works in the long run. You know what I mean, guys? I really got to play Baldur's Gate three. Oh, Baldur's Gate three is awesome, dude. Love that game. What does this guy evolve into? Brussel. Okay, chat looks Brussel. We're going Brussel, baby. Brussel. Brussel.
Russell. It's funny, it's like Russell. You know? Brussel. Nice. Guys, we got a we got a new member of the team. Can I get back to town going this way? Wow. That's really cool. It looped back in. So instead of backtracking, you just have a you just go in a little loop. Hey. Dang, dude. Does anybody else think that part of the appeal of these Pokemon games was that before we really had like modern open world games, this kind of like gave us, it kind of like gave us that feeling. You know what I mean? It kind of, it kind of felt like an open world game, you know? Dude, I can't believe we got the second member of our squad. Should I, should I do like the streamer thing where I like put little like pictures of the Pokemon on our team, of our, that are on our team, like on the bottom of the screen or something? I don't know. I feel like I've seen people do that. I'm unprepared. Didn't do my homework. Big toe in Brussels. Nice, dude. Let's get Brussels in there. Dude, I love Brussels. Now, when we're walking around... Oh my god, he walks behind us too? Look how dumb he looks. I love it. Chat, does every Pokemon just walk behind us in this game? If so, that's crazy. Is that why people like this game? Because I'd honestly get it. If that's... <laughs> Is this why people like this game? This is blowing my mind. Man. It's cool. Yep, even legendaries. Dang. Man, that's a okay. All right, let's be honest. That is a that is a big component. That is a big reason why people like this game. Let's just be honest with ourselves, okay? That is, because it's charming. It is, it's sweet. You you feel like, wow, we could have got a little bell sprout over here. I thought it was special that we got it over where we got it. All right. All he knows is Vine Whip. Dang, brother. Oh no, oh, bell sprout. Oh, God bless. Oh, my God, Bellsprout. That is not good. That guy's three levels below you, and he's doing pretty much the same amount of damage. One, one point. Go to the dark cave to train Brussel. Dude, light of demise, being a smarty pants. I like it. I like the cut of your jib. No, listen. I feel like people undersell... So here's here's my take though, chat. Here's my take. I think that follow Pokemon in 3D games, you don't get the same endorphin hit that you get in this game. That's myself. Because I think the way that they appear in this game is unique, right? Like that little follow sprite, where else do you see that in this game? You never see that. But the 3D model of the Pokemon, it's not as special because you see that 3D model everywhere. Am I wrong? The dark cave's over here, right? Okay. Wow, this cave really is dark. This is unbelievable. Pokemon would never do this now, nowadays. Never, they would never do this. Oh, dude, Bellsprout is going to make short work of these, this Geo gal. Yeah, exactly. Chat, you hear me. You hear me. It's, it is fun. It's fun to see this version of it. It, it feels like that is the specific thing that, like, I chose to have a Bellsprout on my team. So I was rewarded with that by seeing this specific sprite little, do his little dance and follow me around. Not everybody that plays this game is gonna see that, but everybody is going to see the same 3D model of the bell sprout. So there's just a fundamental difference in the way that that connection is formed. Um, it feels less specific and special and unique, I think. Oh dang, Zubat! I remember when I was a kid playing like red and blue, whatever the cave was in that game, the dark one, I just got through it. 
I got through it. I did not light that cave up. Bellsprout, I'm gonna be honest. I thought you could take this this Zubat. Clearly, I was wrong. I mean, eventually maybe, but uh, it would take some. It would take take some time to realize. Something like this is too challenging for current day amoebas. It makes you wonder, right? It makes you wonder. That's why I'm I'm like really hoping that eventually these um these like older games do come to Nintendo Switch because the Nintendo Switch audience is so big that you're going to have a bunch of people playing like Pokémon Red and Blue for the first time probably. And I'd be so curious to see that conversation play out on like social media and see what people say about those games, reinterrogating them. Uh, in a modern context. Uh, I think that'd be really interesting stuff. It's the kind of thing that works really well in Heart Gold Soul Silver, but it's kinda unsustainable as the decks grows, or at least with how Game Freak does things. Yeah, everybody I know this is like the thing that people say, but it's just like if you if your projects are scaling up then you need to scale your staff up accordingly. And they just won't do that because then you're paying all of these people's salaries or hiring contract workers. And the price of this product that it costs to produce it just goes up and up and up. And the amount of money you're getting out of it probably does not scale the same way. So why pay more people to make a product that is going to sell the same way regardless when you can just take the easy way out, when you can just make the cheaper product? Look at Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. They made the cheaper product and, uh, you know, it worked. It worked. And I think Scarlet and Violet has a lot of good stuff in it, but um, I don't know. I think I think you can see pretty clearly with a more directed staff things that could have been shorn up. Am I ever going to... Dude, is it just Zubats? I thought we were going to get some Geodudes. Brussels cannot handle Zubats. What do I do about this? Yeah, they have no reason to do more. And it's and it's and it's honestly more than that. It's it's you know, it's like it's once again, they're not trying to make the best video game possible. They're trying to make a video game to assist in the brand management of the Pokemon brand. Like, you know, it's it's their their prerogatives are different. So I get it. You know what I mean? I'm not like mad about it. I get it. I get it. I get where they're coming from. But we'll see. We'll see what they end up doing. Like the first big game after Scarlet and Violet that I think will it'll be it'll be curious to see what I will be curious to see what that looks like. And then it's tough. And then you know, if the next big game is like disappointing looking, I think you're going to have a lot of people saying, "Well, that game was already in the plans before the reception to Scarlet and Violet." So you can't judge this one. You have to judge the next one. And then we'll probably do that again the next time. And then, you know, and then eventually, you know, then maybe in five years, we'll get a Pokemon game that looks good. And everybody will have their theories for why it looks good. And I don't know. It's, it's funny stuff. Oh, there you go, Brussels. Getting some good, getting some good leveling there. All right. I've got a question. I'm going to open this up as a poll to the chat. Let me see. Typing up my typing up my question here. My question is this, is it toxic that I like grinding? Is it toxic? I like it in these games. I like it in most games. Is that toxic? I like grinding. I think grinding's cool. A lot of people just, you know, I see that complaint all the time. People just being like, oh, there's so much grinding. It's like, ah, I like it, dude. I like hanging out with Brussel, leveling him up, seeing where his stats go, taking note of everything. Brussel got no defense or special defense. What is going on with him? Like, I, you know. Oh, God, look at the look at that stat spread. What a weirdo. Brussel, what a weirdo. Let's look, let's, let's see what his nature is, dude. Is Brussel gonna be bad? Let's see. Impish. Bad special attack, good defense. 
Or is it... I'm reading that right. Right? It's the blue is the bad one, the red is the good one. Chat says no. Chat agrees. Chat says grinding's cool. We got it. We got it. We got. We got a yes in there. We got a couple yeses. All right. Yeah. See, chat. Chat here's where I come from. We're all on the same page here. No problem with looking to grind. I personally don't care for it because it takes a lot of time. Yeah, that's a thing though. There's a there's a degree to which like in some games I don't like it, but in like a Pokemon game, I'm just trying to kind of vibe, and be in the world and do stupid stuff. And I think part of that is uh, grind. Grind. There's I don't know, training them up. I like it. Another point against Let's Go. You can't really grind using your team. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the way that the Pokemon systems all feed into each other was disrupted in Let's Go. And I didn't hate it. Um, I didn't hate it, but I get how that, that natural, that organic points of connection, I get how that was disrupted for sure. Um, yeah. Let's keep it going with Brussels, dude. I feel like we get another battle in or another level, and then um, Brussels good to go. Going through the trenches, grinding is how you bond with your team. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I'm I'm kind of like a. I think I'm a proponent of like having your team and sticking with it, rather than I think in the more modern Pokemon games you can really switch up your team. You know, you've got that PC in your backpack. You can switch things up whenever you want. And I think I kind of liked um, the old ways in this regard. It's like cool that you have your PC everywhere, but I don't know. Going back to the Pokemon Center, healing up, you know, hitting up that PC. Something about it, man. Something about those restrictions. Maybe I'm just an old head, you know what I mean? I think that's part of it. I think part of it is that I'm an old head. I don't know. Like those restrictions. I did play with a friend of mine on Let's Go, which was nice. Oh, like that local co-op, like with the two Joy-Con, like throwing them at the same time. I totally forgot about that feature. We were watching on Twitch. We were watching that Let's Go like uh, trailer the other day or yesterday. And uh, I remembered I saw them do that. I was like, oh, yeah, you could do that. Smash Highlights says, TBH, something I don't like about Pokemon in most RPGs is you have the option to grind and there's no level cap. So if you're willing to invest the time, there's no challenge. Smash Highlights, let me tell you my philosophy about this. You're going to think this is so dumb, but let me, let me tell you how I feel. I think Pokemon is all about simple, meaningless choices. Do you pick red or blue? Do you pick Bulbasaur or Charmander? Which way do you go? Do you catch up this Pokemon? Do you catch a bunch of Pokemon? Do you just level up your starter all the way up to level 100 and get through the whole game with him? You know what I mean? These are these are simple, meaningless choices that will all get you to the end of the game. And I think that's part of what Pokemon is supposed to be. It's supposed to be just being like, hey, are you in Gryffindor or Slytherin? It doesn't matter. You'll win. Uh, you know, it's 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 appealing to that thing in our lizard brains, and I think part of the the enjoyment of the games for me is that you have the option of like being that six year old kid that just grinds endlessly to make his Charizard really strong and gets through the Elite Four just because they have that nasty Charizard. Like I like that that is there. Um, I don't know. I, yeah, I think that that is part of the, the simplicity, uh, that I really like in these games. So that's my take. That's my philosophical take. Sometimes I hear myself talking and I'm just like, brother, why can't you just be like other people on YouTube? Just be normal. Well, I'm just, I get so into it. What am I talking about? What am I, what am I saying? Chad doesn't know. Chad's like, I don't know. Going off on one of your tangents. You know, you're going. 
I guess you have a very personalized experience. Yeah, that's I know. I don't know. I just like seeing it from all those different angles. You know what I mean? I like I like the fact that the way you play Pokemon as a kid can be so different from the way you play it uh, as you grow up, you know, and how it like changes with you. I think that that's really cool. That's why it kind of bugs me when the games start restricting like the ways that you play the game, you know what I mean? Where it's like, oh no, you have to, everybody gets experience no matter what, even when they're not fighting. It's like, okay, like that's fine. The, like, I, w I was listening to a, to a Hidden Power podcast recently, and my friend Dusty, who's the host of that show, he was talking about how, like, open world was the thing that they really pushed in Scarlet and Violet, right? Open world was the thing that, like, it's like the marketing thing. Like, oh, this is, like, what the, the big feature of these new games are. Even though there's a lot of new things in Scarlet and Violet, it was like, this is the first real open world. And it's like, what is the what is the next, like, big marketing thing going to be for the next Pokemon game to stand out that they sell people on? And I, I personally, this is a bit of a tangent, but I personally think it's going to be voice acting. I think they're really, I think they're going to finally get voice acting and they're going to lean into that and you're going to have much more expressive, like, characters and storytelling. Um... But I've always kind of thought that the biggest swing a Pokemon game could make is if their philosophy for a game was what if you just had tons of options? What if you could like set a difficulty level or if you want to do like a Nuzlocke, you could go into the settings and like set that up to play a certain way. Like just like options, options. That's what they're all about. Like, man. And that's kind of what I think the games are about at their core. Like I was, I was telling you, like kind of making these like simple, ultimately meaningless decisions. I, I wondered if like Pokemon could take that to heart and really like make something out of that and say, oh, that's what we're actually going to do in the game. We're going to like give you even more decisions to make. I think that'd be so cool. Oh, chat's being very nice to me in the chat. Thank you all. Thank you all very much. A bunch of not, a bunch of not normals here. That should be what we do. You know, like, uh, like what's the, like the kind like the kind of funny channel. They're like their fan base or whatever. They call themselves. They're like the best friends. We're the not normals. We're, you know, J Jake's not normals in the chat, you know, <laughs> Bobby BG. I also think it'll be voice acting. The mobile game has been doing it for a while. Yeah. I think they're starting to build up a little repository. They kind of know what they're doing in that regard. Um, I hope they have voice acting because it's always weird hearing characters' mouths. And the, yeah, the, the the recent games have been so weird in this regard, weirder than it's ever been that they don't have voice acting. Um, Smash highlights that'd be great, more of a sandbox type thing. Yeah, I don't know. I just think like, for yeah, just options are good, man. And that's I think like Pokemon serves so many people that it would not hurt them to have some things built in there to be like, hey. Um. This will help you serve all of those different types of people. Man, I didn't realize that Faulkner, I believe, is a bird guy, right? So Bellsprout is not going to be helpful against him. But um, maybe Bellsprout will carry us through Sprout Tower, though. I got to wrap this up soon, though. We've been going for a long time, chat. I think we'll stop here, actually. We'll stop at Sprout Tower. That's where we'll come back. Do, do, before we get going, do people like this? Was this a good idea? Should we continue this in the future? Do we like playing Pokemon Heart Gold? Should I keep this up? Let me know in the chat. I've been listening while playing Overwatch, but I agree about the choices. Dude, Overwatch. I didn't think anybody was out here playing... Uh playing overwatch these days i feel like all i hear is doom and gloom about that game glad so glad you're enjoying it dude overwatch overwatch is a cool game cool game man oh people are yeah people are digging it people are digging it yeah okay yeah okay great 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 um cool wow chat thank you all. You're, you're all very nice you're all very nice i really appreciate this um if if there is something like a nintendo i think obviously we will stream a pokemon presents right we will we will get together i will i will live stream that we can watch that together obviously we'll do that um that'll probably be in like two weeks um but i'm thinking if there's like a nintendo direct or something like that too if it works on my schedule maybe we'll maybe we'll check that out um because that could be fun too 
but uh but otherwise i just kind of want to do these kind of like offbeat streams you know what i mean not necessarily playing like the latest and greatest games all the time just kind of like whatever i feel like whatever i feel whatever calls to me so um maybe we'll mix it up in the future we'll i think we'll i think we'll we can play a little bit more of this so i'll get through it i think it'd be fun if we beat the game so um this has been great thank you everybody for tuning in uh do all of those youtube things that people do when you know when somebody like me is in this position and they say like thumbs up the video maybe that's a thing um that that would be great whatever you're supposed to do you know that's good um when this live stream is over it will of course like turn into a normal video that you can click on and like leave a comment on so i'm expecting all of you to of course get into the comments and say wow jake great stream that voice for chat was perfect you nailed chat's voice i can't believe how well you nailed that that voice great job uh that's that's what i'm expecting but yeah uh rumors say there's a direct this week if there is a direct i think it'll be announced tomorrow cool 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 um but yeah that's gonna do it for me thank you so much again chat thank you everybody for um sticking through roger this was an excellent idea cool cool that makes me feel really good uh, this was a uh, this was very jolly i really appreciate the jolly vibes here this was such a good time uh so thanks for making sure i had a good time here chat i will see you soon uh today is tuesday but of course on thursday we have a new episode of catch my drift so look forward to that each and every thursday um and i i read about that on patreon.com slash jake steinberg and uh what else what else next thursday is actually my birthday uh, so we're going to do a special birthday episode of Catch My Drift. Uh, and I think that'll be really fun. It'll be a little different from what we've been doing. I think it'll. I think people will like it. So, uh, yeah. So looking forward to seeing you all then. Have an excellent rest of your day, everybody. This was a really good time. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you soon. Goodbye.